when you realize that you the chosen one, you basically wake up to the fact that you don't need nobody for nothing. Everything just naturally comes to you by divine right, all right? That's when you realize like, man, they been manipulating me the whole time. You know what I'm saying? You probably was the type that you always been quiet all your life. Just like I used to be. I used to be like real quiet. I used to sit back and just let people do whatever to me. And I used to uh, let people use me, stuff like that. I, I was him, all right? And you probably was the same type of person where, you know, once upon a time, you used to just let people just have their way with you. Until you realize, no, I don't have to do this no more. I'm the chosen one. The moment you realize you're the chosen one, you awaken to your true nature, your true self. And when you got God in your life, he basically show you all the stuff that you be, all the stuff that you used to do. You don't even need to do it no more. You don't even have to hang with certain people no more. You don't have to bow down to other people no more. You don't have to listen to other people's opinions no more. You don't have to go where other people want you to go. You don't have to be where people want you to be at a certain time anymore. You start realizing you don't have to do none of that. All right. Now, one thing is going to happen is this. If it ain't already happening to you, um, it's going to start happening. Stay to the end of this video, too. I just uh, remembered to give you something at the end of this video. All right. Um, like I said, you will have a lot of people that come into your life. They they can feel your energy. First of all, first and foremost, they feel your energy. They see that you are lucky or what they can what they consider lucky or they see that you are blessed. They see that you are chosen. They see how you just go with the flow of things. They see how you are natural, right? This is what they recognize behind closed doors about you, all right? They know you got that good stuff, that good energy. You make them you make them feel good. They get comfortable when they hang around you, all right? They get compliments when they come around you, when y'all hanging out together. And you be looking like, what? damn, they getting a lot of compliments. It's because they with you, though. It's really because they with you. You know what I mean? Um... You inspire them, okay? It seems like when they get around you, it's like they they, they they just light up, bro. They just start thinking positively. They start smiling more. Um, They start coming up with all these ideas about what they want to do with their life. Like, this is the type of energy and anointing that you carry around as a chosen one. And, if, and one thing is going to happen is a lot of people will get mad at you when you don't share it with them, okay? See, most of the time, these people, they don't want to, they don't want to heal. They don't want to work for themselves. You feel me? They want to come into your life and take over what you have. They want to come and get your benefits. They want to come in. They want to thrive off of you because your resources, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to recognize that you're the chosen one. There's something different about you. That just, oh man, I love it. And I'm telling you, man, if you're not careful, you're probably in a situation right like this right now with somebody. And I'm telling you, bro, they will use you until the wheels fall off. Okay? They don't necessarily care nothing about like what you really got going on. Their whole motive is to get something out of you because you are anointed. You have special energies. All right? Because you are a kindred hearted person you are a good soul okay a pure hearted person all right and you can call them leeches you can call them bums whatever you can call them narcissists call them whatever okay but just know they gonna get mad at you when they cannot control you you're gonna notice this man you gonna have so many people man they they don't they're not paying your bills they're not helping putting the food on your stomach or nothing but for some strange reason they have the they for some strange reason they feel they got the right to tell you what to do and you just be like you can't tell me what to do though you know what i'm saying but this is how they're gonna feel on the inside they're gonna feel like you owe them everything that you've worked for they're gonna feel like you owe them your time like right now like no i shouldn't have to wait to talk to you i want to talk to you now and see when you tell them no they get mad at you okay they call you names 
They go spread rumors about you, tell other people false information about you. Why? Because they can't control you. All right. People see that you blessed and you live in a blessed lifestyle. That's the number one thing they want to try to do. They want to try to come into your life and try to alter your whole plans. They want to try to come into your life and try to have and try to thwart, th thwart their power on you. And so you can uh, get thrown off your rocker. That's what they want to do. Oh, no, you don't need to do it that way. You need to do it this way. Now, mind you, the whole time what you've been doing has been working. OK, I don't know. Maybe maybe you got a good paying job. Maybe you work from home or something like that. Or maybe you just be minding your own business and you stay in your own lane and you work and do your own thing. OK, you will have people that come into your life and say, no, that you shouldn't be doing that. No, no, you should believe this. Here, read it. See what they said? Read it. You're going to have people come in your life trying to change your beliefs. They'll try to change your morals. They'll try to change your, your, your discipline, discipline, disciplinary habits. They'll try to change your set schedule. OK, they'll try to change your relationship life. They'll try to change anything that they can to try to get some of that good energy off of you. And when they and when you don't give it to them, when they recognize, oh, he knows himself. Oh, he's smart. He thinks. They're going to get mad. They're going to get mad. They're going to get upset. They're going to call you names. They're going to say you this. They're going to say you dead. OK, they're going to say you soft. They're going to call you all kind of names, bro, because they don't have you under their control. All right. See, bro, you got to understand it's a lot of people out here who don't want to do the, the self work on themselves. It's a lot of people out here who don't want to work to get what they want. They only prey on people who have worked to get where they are and they want to try to come and run the whole operation. This is what they do. And they will manipulate you. They will manipulate you, fellas. You'll have girls send you all kind of naked pictures and, you know, they'll they'll try to uh, uh, put on all this stuff and try to make you think that they had the hottest thing smoking and stuff like that. And then all to come at the end of the day, when you don't do one thing wrong, one thing for them, you're going to see their true colors come out. Why? Because she can't control you, dog. You are uncontrollable. You're, you're not going to be domineered by the feminine. OK. But I'm telling you, this going to happen all the time when you when, as a chosen one and you do and you doing your own thing and you walk in your own path. You are you doing your vision. All right. Um, you you doing everything right. You gonna have people come in your life that want to play manager. They want to play boss and they want to try to dictate you. No. No, you didn't know you didn't do it then. You, you, and see, these people get a they get a thrill and a, a a kick out of telling you or telling you to do something. And then when they see you do it, they go run back to that hill in that cabin. They go run back and go brag. I I told her to do this. I did it. I see, I told it was me that told her she need to hire him. I did it. See, no, he, he talked to me today. And I told him that. He need to stop uh, saying that. And then the next time he said that, he, he didn't even say that no more. I told him that. I did it. See, that's, that's how they is. These people are low vibrational. They get a kick and a thrill off of overpowering somebody and controlling somebody and making them do what they want them to do because they don't know how to do nothing on their own. So if, you, if you're the type of person, you got that feel-good energy, you feel good about yourself, you you headed in the right direction in life. Your head is on your shoulders. You focused. Just know, if you focus, a lot of people gonna notice it. They're gonna say, "Oh, I like you hustling, boy." They gonna, they see you hustling every day. They see you getting to the bag every day. You feel me? You gonna have so many people that wanna come. They wanna jump on your coattail, and they wanna try to make you see what they got. Look, look, look. If they can't if they can't get you to look at them, they are gonna start talking shit. All right. They're going to start telling you. These be the same people who claim, I like you. Oh, Yo, you the best thing that ever happened to me. It be the same people. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. He's just, he's just so, he's such a big teddy bear. He, it be the same people, bro. The same. It don't be, it don't be no, nobody different. It be the same people 
who told you all the good reasons as to why they they like you, who told you all about yourself and how good you do things and how beautiful you are, it'd be the same people. They go right back and when you don't do something for them and they don't like it because they're not a part of it, they're going to they gonna slander your name. Same people. Same people, bro. It's just like if you're a music artist, just like how they did do did shape Dave Chappelle the other day, dude jumped on the stage and tried to beat up Dave Chappelle or whatever. He ended up getting beat up. Same people. These mugs bought a whole ticket to his show because they obviously they his fans. If you bought a ticket to see another man, you a fan. Let's just face it. I'm a fan of some people too. But don't try to get don't get mad at the teacher. Don't get mad at the comic. But this is how bots is. This is how bot people think. They love you, like you, and hate you at the same damn time, man. They wishy-washy. They two-brained, bipolar, psychologically, mentally impaired ass individuals, bro. They don't know how to stay on the one-track course, bro. They be a fans. They, hey, girl, go, girl. Then next thing you know, they'll throw a damn water bottle and hit you in the damn head. And then they'll turn around and say, I, that, that was just my reflexes. I love you so much. Bro, that's the hate in them, bro. These people hate you so much, they will buy a ticket to come see you perform and throw, just to throw a water bottle so they can get some of your attention. That's how bot they are. They some bots. You feel me? They some bots, bro. Fellas, that's how some girls are. They, they'll feel like they, they'll do all this tricky, manipulative, sneaky shit to get your attention. And then they'll say, oh, the reason why I was doing that is because I thought that you like it like that. Or I thought that you was this type of guy. Bro, they know how you are. They know how you are. They, bro, she done studied everything on your damn social media from the damn oldest stuff to the latest stuff. She done did all the research. But they gonna, But this is what bots do. This is what bots do. And they get up in your face and they play dumb. They play possum. Oh, I don't know. What, what, you, what, you, what, you, what you working on? They know what the hell you working on, bro. They they know you trying to start a catering business. But see, they don't want to admit that they really are. They really like you like that. It's sad. We live in a sad world where pride and ego is destroying people. All right. Me personally, bro, I've never been like that. I don't know. Comment below if you've never been like that. I ain't never been the type of person that if I like somebody, I don't hit them up or reach out to them. Yo, just yesterday, bro, I reached out to Ace Hood. That's one of my, I listen to Ace Hood all the time in my car. Shouts out to Ace Hood if you're watching this video. But um, I'm not going to sit back and be like, I don't like Ace if he don't hit me back or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I don't like it. But this is what the, a bot would do. A bot would still be like, I don't like Ace Hood no more. I don't like David Chappelle no more. I don't like Lizzo no more. Same damn bot will be at the show paying four hundred dollars for a ticket on the front row seats or something, dancing. Hey, hey, they bipolar, bro. And like I say, fellas, it's a lot of women like they are wishy washy. She don't know if she want to stay with you or if she want to go with him. She confused. Education is confused, confusing. She EC, bro, but she look like beauty, but she EC. Education is confusing, bro. Stay away from these people, bro. Stay away from these people. And like I say, they're going to get mad when you don't give them what they want, when they can't come and stagnate your operation. They see you got something going on good for yourself, brother. Sister, They, the girlfriend see you got something good for yourself. And that day you tell them, I don't want to go out with y'all. I want to just stay at the crib. I'm just going to chill at the crib and watch Netflix and chill. All hell going to break loose. Next day, they're going to be trying to gaslight you. Next day, they're going to be trying to uh, 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 not invite you to some new stuff. Why you invite me to this? Why y'all invite me to go bowling? Girl, we thought that uh, since, like, we, you be acting some kind of way. What you mean? You didn't even want to come with us last time because I didn't feel like it. What was so wrong with me just not feeling like it? But this is what they do. They want to try to control you. They want to try to control your life. They want to try to control your decisions. They want to get in on the good stuff and they want you won't let them in. They're going to get mad at you and they're going to they're going to they're going to they're going to rat you out. OK, they're going to try to they're going to sell you off to the slave master. You feel me? They're going to sell you off to the slave master and they're going to they're going to act like you are enemy.
They're going to act like you're your enemy. Why? Because you're not giving them their crack. Because you're not giving them their little fix or picker upper. Because you have found out you the chosen one. I'm, I, I know me. I know what I don't like. I know what I do like. Bro, I was texting this girl the other day who called herself liking me, right? This Asian girl who called herself liking me. And I just asked a simple question. I say, hey, how's your day going? How's work? She texts back, good. Y'all ever have people that just saying one word, one word answers? Okay, good. Have a good day. Good night. Sweet dreams. So I text her. I'm like, listen, man. I'm like, I'm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what type of person you are. I'm trying to get to know you, low key. But you sound like a robot. You sound like a Siri. You sound like fucking Siri. You texted me. Have a good day. Blessings. Greetings. Rise and shine. How's work going? Good. Uh, did you have lunch? Yes. Like, am I stupid or am I dumb, y'all? Or am I neither? Okay? Because it's like, um, and then I told her, and I told her, I was like, listen, can you please just give me a small little detail of like what makes your work good? What, what explain it? This is just write three letter three letter phrase. She's like, what's the problem with you? Are you okay? See, but this is what they do, bro. It's like they psychologically try to reverse psychology on you because they see you are not going to be the little puppy dog. They see you're not going to be the little walking mat. They see that they're they're not going to be able to control you to do what they want you to do. OK, when you know thyself, when you know your self-worth, when you know your value, you will have a lot of people who try to demean, who try to diminish your value, try to say you're a bad person because you know how to love yourself and you think for yourself. You have so many people like that, not just girls. You have guys do that to you, too, if you're a woman. If you see that you're not like these other hood rats and these uh, other bum sheikas that's using guys for their resources, OK, he going to be like, who you think you is? You ain't you don't need nothing from me. And this is this is how he control women. He pays for their stuff all the time because he know that's what most women, that's what most women going around trying to find a sugar daddy. They trying to find somebody to use their resources. Okay, so that's what the typical woman out here doing nowadays. We, it ain't no secret no more. The veil has been lifted. All right, and so he thrives off of that. He's like, well, let me give, let me give Sheikah fifty dollars. Let me give, uh, uh, let me give Rhonda a hundred dollars. Let me give Brittany what Brittany need. Hey girl, what you doing? Yeah, I need my phone bill paid. I don't, I'm tired of doing this now. Yeah, I just need to pay, Daddy. Yeah, all right now. No way, you, you know, you my snooker snooker. All right. Yes, Daddy. Well, I right, just send me a text message over here. And then, what's your cash out, baby? Uh, dollar sign, um, get money. Get money, dollar sign, get money. You got a new one? Yeah. All right, baby, I'm going to send you that money to pay your phone bill. All right, Daddy. He do that for her. 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 Simple behavior. He do that for her. Do that for her. Do that for her. Why? Because he can control her. She going to... All it takes for him to get on the phone one day, hey, you want to go out to eat? You know she hungry. She don't eat on a regular basis. Yeah, I want to go get me some some Cheesecake Factory, Daddy. They go Cheesecake Factory. Next thing you know, after all that, she giving him a blowjob. That's all Daddy wanted. That's all he wanted. But he using that to control. This is what people do, y'all. They want to control you if you're the chosen one. If you know yourself, you know your value. Bro, stay away from people like that. Get with people who own the same equality, who got the same equal value as you do, bro. Okay? If they ain't got the same, if they don't feel the same way about themselves like you feel about you, don't even get around. Don't even connect with these people, man. It's a waste of time, man. OK, but if they want to come and try to take over what you got going on. No, you got to go. I'm sorry. B blocked. You got to go, boo. You you got to go, bro. Get up out of here. I'm not dealing with it. I know me now. OK, it's too late for all that. OK, anyway, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video, man. I told you if you stay tuned to the end of the video, your big bro got something very special for you. Listen, I got a new course. OK, it's called the Chosen Ones Breakthrough Takeover Course. So if you so basically this is how the course works. Okay, of course, it got secret videos in there that 
no, no, nobody on YouTube get to see it. all secret videos. Plus a lot of secret information that will blow your freaking mind. Okay, you're going to be thanking me later after you get this today. All right, but I got the Chosen Ones Breakthrough Takeover course. So if you want a breakthrough, if you've been expecting a breakthrough, this is probably the confirmation for you to receive that breakthrough right now because I got a Chosen Ones Breakthrough Takeover course. All right, if you're the type of person, you know yourself, you know your value, you're a high value woman, you're a high value man, you taking over. But it's going to be other people that want to come and try to take over you, bro. Just because they see that you got it, got it going on. Or you, they see you found yourself now. All right? They see you on your own path now. All right? But you expecting a breakthrough. Are you expecting a breakthrough right now? Get the Chosen Ones takeover course right now. I wouldn't be surprised if something, if after you get it, something divine happened today. Just because you got the Chosen One, the chosen one takeover breakthrough course. I wouldn't be surprised. I get calls from people every single time. They tell me these testimonies, and I'd be like, well, dang, it didn't happen to me. I don't want to create it, of course, but it's just not for me. You feel me? So if you want to get the Chosen Ones Takeover course right now, it's going to be in the very bottom at the comment section at the top. You're going to see the link. Chosen Ones Takeover course. I'm going to put the fire emojis beside it. Get that. Also, y'all, listen. Be aware, y'all. It's a million people out there say they trend, bro. It's not me. Don't, don't send your money to people through, for crypto, for stocks. Don't do that, folks. Don't send them. They pretending to be me. Come on. You got to be a smart one. All right? Don't ever send money online to strangers for, for crypto portfolios and stuff. Listen, watch in the comment section. Report these people, folks. If they don't have a blue check beside their name, they are not me. This is why I have blue checks on YouTube. This is why I have blue checks on Instagram and stuff. So I'm letting, because it's a signification that I am not a scammer. It's other people that's trying to pretend to be me. Okay, so don't fall into that trap and don't get yourself scammed. Get the chosen ones, take over course. Get a divine breakthrough today. It's on you, man. It's your big bro trend, man. They're going to get mad because they can't get none of them benefits, man. Trust me. Peace.